The initiative is to keep the public informed about current events and developments as it relates to the upcoming governorship election scheduled for September. The chairperson, Edo State Civil Society Situation Room, Daisy Abiola, who is of the view that the people are entitled to the right information during the period, says it will help to monitor the Edo State governorship election and give accurate reports of the exercise, leading to the entrenchment of transparency and communication between the government and its citizens. The Edo State Civil Society Situation Room has constituted comes with a lot of responsibilities. This is not just about election paid data reporting. It involves ensuring that our democratization process effectively intrudes into the foundation and content of our nation. In other words, we must acknowledge those demographic realities that have found symbolic expression in the way our people see things and the way they choose to relate with realities. During this campaign, we don't want a campaign of canony, but one campaign that Edo people will come out to vote for Edo people. Those who are contesting, they are Edo people. Those who are going to carry the votes are those staying in Edo state here. So we want the election to be free, fair, and conclusive. Our aim is to call uh, accountability to electoral process and to make sure that every process is duly followed. Also, put into consideration women, persons with disability, that they, are, they will be respected. And we're also appealing to politicians uh, to refrain from campaign of calumny. Tell the people of Edo State what you want to do when you win. Refrain from personal attack. Refrain from unwholesome statements, inflammatory statements that may trigger the state into serious crisis. The Edo State Civil Society Situation Room is made of civil societies drawn from the Justice Development in Benin, Conference of Non-Governmental Organizations, the African Network for Environment and Economic Justice, Urumi JDPC, in Benin. Joy Igbo, NTA News.